Hey everybody, welcome back to MI Bass Craze. Today we're going to be fishing on Bear Lake. I've never been on the lake before. Uh, the kid I'm going up there fishing with, he's never been on the lake, but he's seen pictures of people fishing it and uh, knows a little bit of information about the lake. So I think we're going to start off doing top water up by some lily pads that I found on Google Maps. And if that don't work out, we'll fish some islands and some points and We'll really see where it goes. We've only got to come in with three bass, so we should be able to do that and see where we stack up against everybody else. So let's get out to the action. Oh yeah, that's gonna be it. Oh my God. A bunch of minnows jumped right where I landed. It's like right where you want, right on the edge of the pads. Get the net. Ha! Ah. <laughs> I was wondering probably, if we needed one, but I figured you had one. Probably like the same size fish as the last one. He looked way bigger when yeah, he swirled. Alright, swirl you can go back. I got it from here. Thank you. Hunter, can you shut the bilge pump off, please? Is that a no? Yeah, it's not on that side. <laughs> Dang it, I gotta get the pliers. Oh, sweet, because mine are all bent up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh yeah, he's 15 and a half. Hey, hey, stop flopping. I'm gonna put tags on mine. The way I read it, it was each boat long as three. That's what I thought it said too, but then you gotta pay individually, so I'm like, let's play it safe and bring in six. Thank you, fishy. Or you could at least like turn on the aerator instead of the bilge pump. All right, Hunter, we'll make you some room here. I'm sorry for invading your space. I know, I thought this place was gonna be packed. I was getting actually, like, getting ready to cut it down and turn around when I seen the two boats at the mouth. Hey, stay out of this backpack. There's bottom. Bottom eight, bottom no more. patches of grass are just in like straight lines and they're not very long and they're not very wide.
just hungry too. Whatever it is, it keeps picking it up and dropping it. And it seems like when I let it go to do something is when he hits it. You gotta hit him right when he grabs it before he spits it. I don't know if it's like a small mouth on a bed or something that's just grabbing it and spitting it. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh my god. And it was a rock. What? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> He's going to be pushing Master Angler, I bet. Oh yeah, he's just shy of 12 inches. Was there a rock bass? No, I don't think there was. No. Well, that's Master Angler rock bass number four of the year. Oh, right here. That's what I like to find. Sucks that we went right over top of it and I didn't see it off to the side. That's the stuff that holds big fish. Just one random, super thick weed bed that's about the size of this boat. She does that. Oh, there's a rock bass. <laughs> there we go. Small ball. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I freaking got his rope. I didn't set the hook though. Yeah, but I don't mean I didn't get into the rope. There's some weeds, some spots of weeds on the edge. Yeah, I'm gonna be breaking off here. Nope, got it. Yeah! Just trying to think if you know something that we might be able to get a couple more bites on more frequent. How deep is it? Is it like shallow like that one? Uh, no, it's a little bit. Cool. We can go check that out. It could be a little better than this. 
This hump, I think, would take a while to sit here and really figure out where they sit on it. I mean, it's pretty big and everything is the same. Like, there's no sand patches in it that I've seen. Nothing easy to pick apart, at least. I can't believe you caught a smallmouth on a moving bait right now. Yeah, these are all, these are all slab wood underneath of us, like weeds mixed in with slab wood. There's a rock bass sitting right there. Nope, that, never mind, that's a piece of wood. It looked a lot like a fish. Fifteen. Honestly, lengthwise, they're pretty even. Dude, I really like the looks of this. No wonder that other boat was sitting over here. I could imagine they did. I mean, four people. Yeah, if you could just do that one more time, that'd be all right. <laughs> oh, probably rock bass. Oh, well, it's too weedy over where we started. I freaking love the Mismo 2.75. I mainly run a three inch, but then I'll cut like part of the tail off. I mean, there's. That was a little baby smallmouth. <laughs> he was about twice as big as my tube. Like, I don't know, it'd be hard unless there was like another set of lily pads like that that we could have gone and frogged. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, who knows? <laughs> he felt so, yeah. I better put him on the board. We need to drop. I think there might be more. Maybe, hopefully, there's a bigger one up there. This might be the first one that I hit. I don't know. No. <laughs> no way this thing's 13. You know what, you're getting it. Just, just because. Oh my God. It's 12 and three quarters. Jesus. How? <laughs> Got one. Big in. Biggin, biggin. Oh, he got off. I don't know if you've seen that, but he, got, oh, he spit the hook right out of the, I was like a tree pounder. <laughs> that was for sure a keeper too. That was all of 48 inches. 
I hate to see it. <laughs> That was bad. I was all excited too. I was all sorts of excited. You had the net. Had the perfect amount of resistance. Oh, I think I bounced over a stick. Everything's a fish to me right now. I'm on edge. best fighting stick I've ever hooked into. I think you can pull a little drag. <laughs> yeah, the drag's coming. I'm good at catching them with like two minutes left too. That's a fish. <laughs> oh my god! That one's gotta be a little bit. I think it might be 17 for all we know. Oh, he's 20. He's all of 20. Don't you degrade him. <laughs> oh. Yes! Yes! That's why it was <laughs> Oh, sorry, Hunter. Too bad it wasn't Pike. So we ended up getting our three fish. Uh, it was a three fish limit for this tournament. We ended up getting third place, just pretty good considering that I have never ever been on the lake before. Um, luckily, I met up with Northern Michigan Angler and he's been on the lake before a few times uh, ice fishing and he called out a spot over by one of the boat launches and then with like 20 minutes left we were working down that edge and we seen a little point with some rocks mixed in with some slab wood and he hit that small mouth on a square bill which put us at two fish in the well um, i had my one fish from catching on the popper and started casting around and i caught some small 10 inch small mouth and then hooked into the one that was a little over 14 he's like 14 and a half so that gave us our three fish 20 minutes before the end of the tournament and we didn't bump anything out but i'm happy we had a lot of fun and for never being on the lake to come in third is pretty awesome so if you like the video go ahead and like and subscribe and click the uh, bell to get notifications when I post new videos. See ya.